Is this really necessary, Chief Bennett? You're a cadet. You know better than that. I'm innocent. I want you to let me go so I can find the psycho who keeps attacking Fancy. Don't ask me for something I can't do, Luis. Do it for me, then. I'm the only witness. Luis would never try to attack me. I can't let him go. I mean, look at the evidence against him, okay? including your own statement. Don't tell me. You had Luis arrested. What is wrong with you? No, I didn't have Luis arrested. Then what's going on here? Why don't you answer a question first? What are you doing here now? Run out of James's cough syrup again? Wait, 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 wait. What's, what's going on with you two? I don't know about my niece, but I would rather not get into it. Not when Luis is in trouble. What happened, Luis? Oh, nothing much. Sam just seems to think that I dumped acid on Fancy. Th that's insane! I know. That's what I keep telling him, but unfortunately, like all the other attacks, all the evidence points to me as the guy who did it. But you know better. You know Luis. You don't think he would actually do something like that, do you? No. The trouble is that Luis was the only one in the room holding the jar of acid. He also had a key to Fancy's room, and the window that the attacker supposedly escaped from was locked from the inside. I was in Fancy's room because I was trying to save her. And when I went through the unlocked door, the attacker was already in there holding the jar of acid over Fancy, and luckily, I saved her just in the nick of time. Unfortunately, little acid did splash on her leg. I went to make sure that she was okay, and when I did, the attacker got away. Well, I believe you. Now, what's this about your statement? <laughs> Chief Bennett just asked me to tell him what happened, as I know it, and that's all I did. And you didn't actually see the person. Listen, I don't want you grilling fancy. Well, I'm just trying. I know what you're trying to do, and I appreciate it. But fancy feels bad enough as it is. She gave me a statement, even though she didn't want to. You know that I didn't do this, Sam. At least don't make this harder for me than it already is. You're already on suspension and out on bail. Now I have to rebook you on these new charges. Uh, charges, plural? The attack tonight with the acid and Ray Thomas's murder. You knew you were a prime suspect. Now you understand if you're convicted of this crime, the maximum penalty in this state is death. No! I can't believe you're going through with this, Sam. Luis would never commit any of the crimes you were charging him with. He has got to be the most dedicated policeman on your force. I already cut him some slack, in case you forgot. Even though he was out on bail and suspended from the force, I let him investigate Fancy's attacks. I shouldn't have. And it's so obvious that no one is finding the real culprit. All right, Sheridan, take it easy. It's not Sam's fault that he had to arrest me. I'm sorry. I just hate seeing you like this. Now, Sam, please tell me you will not put Luis in a regular holding cell. The other prisoners will take out their hatred of cops on him. Don't worry, all right? I'm going to put him in his own cell for his own protection. Thanks. Luis, look, I'm sorry I have to do this, but uh, I have to rebook you now. said what you believe to be true. I know. I hope you know I never did anything to hurt you. I would never hurt you. And I'm gonna prove it. How if you're gonna be in jail? I'll find a way. <laughs> <laughs> 